Today I'm able to show you something really, really interesting. And as you can see, they have really interesting social behaviors. This caterpillar looks furry and friendly, but I wonder if they know they're playing with death. That caterpillar is just as venomous as a rattlesnake. One day, it'll grow into a majestic silkworm moth. But while they're in their larval stage, I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. Who's gonna stop me? You see those spiky bristles along its body? Well, those are actually filled with some scary stuff. Venom, to be exact. They're quite fragile and break easily at even the slightest touch. For example, say you're out for a hike in the rainforest and brush up against a tree. If a cluster of caterpillars happens to be hanging out on that tree, their bristles could easily penetrate your skin. You'd be left with a burning, irritating sensation. You'd notice bruising all over your body because of internal bleeding. At first, the venom causes your blood to clot. Not good. You don't say! Soon, your body would be unable to keep up as your blood continues to thicken. Then, you'd run out of the platelets you need to keep your blood flowing. Now, you'd hemorrhage blood until you die. Gruesome. There is some good news. One silkworm caterpillar doesn't have enough venom to do significant damage. It takes at least 20 stings to experience the full range of toxic effects. Their venom is very similar to that of a snake, so anti-venom could be your lifesaver. The death rate after being stung is only 2.5%. However, there is some bad news that might get you into that 2.5% category. It's difficult to access anti-venom in remote communities, and the number of people affected is likely underreported. To add insult to injury, these critters usually congregate in large groups. The chance of meeting just one solitary caterpillar is slim. If you're going to trek through the rainforest, I suggest exercising some caution, even when doing simple things. In the life cycle of this moth, the deadly larval stage is the longest. They spend three months as a hungry, hungry caterpillar, feeding mainly on fruits and infecting anything that gets too close. Their spikes mean they have no natural predators for these three months. Their venom, while horrific for people, is a brilliant evolutionary adaptation. It ensures that the larvae survive long enough to pupate and then blossom into their final form, a glorious silkworm moth. They only live for about a week, but guess what? Silkworm moths are totally harmless. I guess they grow out of their spiky adolescent attitude. But how come these people are able to play with them? Well, the caterpillar doesn't have venomous bristles on its feet. But it's not a chance I'd be willing to take, that's for sure. From the treetops of the rainforests to the depths of the ocean, there are venomous worm-like creatures all over the world. You can learn about the fireworm, another spiky, squirmy creature, in this video. Rubbing up against unsuspecting hikers and injecting them with deadly venom is what these caterpillars do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.